Joining me now is Nick Gibb, MP, who is a former schools minister, and Jacques Schmalowski, who is head teacher at Hampstead School in North London. Gentlemen, it's good to have you both on the programme. And Jacques, results mm. day for you, nervous time for pupils and teachers. How do, how do things go at your school today? Very well. Always one of my favourite days of the year. Because really? it's the day when, absolutely, because it's the day when all the hard work that students have put in, supported by the staff at school over many years, comes to fruition and it's always very exciting to see the students open those envelopes and realise their life chances. And any evidence of a tougher marking system at your school today? Have you yeah, seen there, results there was bit? some evidence of that and I've also had quite a lot of feedback from colleagues across the country over that. And how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me concerned in terms of the comparability of grades so that a student that may have reached a certain standard last year which would have been deemed say a B grade may not have been awarded a B grade this year and I think that's grossly unfair to those students. Not only that, it also means that employers, higher education no longer are absolutely sure what a certain grade can mean. And, and this is a, a point of view that Jacques has that we've seen up and down the country, haven't they, Nick? So how do you respond to that, the, the, the accusation from head teachers that government have been tinkering with the exam system and you just move the goalposts and it's not fair? Well, if, if you ask the independent regulator, uh, they will tell you that the standards this year are very consistent with last year. The dip of 1.3 percentage points is caused by an increase in the number of 15-year-olds being entered early for their GCSE, and that's why the grades have been pulled down. But for 25 years, we've seen GCSE, the, the pass, the proportion achieving the pass rate, increase year on year for 20-odd years. And that was beginning to undermine the credibility and the currency of the GCSE. So it was important that the government, whichever government, So marking has got tougher, has it? No, it hasn't. What, what's happening? So it hasn't got tougher? No, what's happening is that, that, that Ofqual has been given increased powers to maintain standards between years, not to allow the currency, the grading inflation to... What, what the government have done is trying to eliminate grade inflation not a dip. The dip is caused, as I've said, by more early entries, which is a practice that I think should stop in schools okay. because it's bad for those children. So is this a statistical blip? Is that what's happening here, Jacques? It's, no, I don't think more... it is. And I, and I would certainly challenge Nick about the, the grade inflation argument. Uh, you know, I, th I think that's said a lot, and I think there's a fallacy in that. It's no doubt in my mind, having worked for over 30 years in London schools, that teaching and learning in schools has got dramatically better over that time, and that students are working harder than ever, and that teachers are teaching better than ever. And if that's the case, then the outcome of that will be necessarily not in, extent, sorry if I can finish it will be will be in, will be increasing examination results and increasing performance that doesn't necessarily mean that examinations getting easier moreover if students are working harder than ever it's absolutely disgraceful because these are young people's life chances it's not, it's not just statistics we're talking about here each one of these is a young person that needs that grade to move on to the next uh, part, part the of their education. The standards are consistent now. This year and last year, the standards are exactly the same. That wasn't the case for 20 years. And if you took your GCSEs in 1999, you were being treated unfairly compared to someone taking a GCSE in 2005. And that's what's being eliminated. But there is some good news today, and that is that there's been a huge increase in the proportion taking right. in modern language. But, but, and Jack, but would you agree, Jack, that, that GCSEs were losing credibility, weren't they? You had grade inflation for years and years and years, and something had to be done. Government's done it. They've got their credibility back. Two points, though. I don't think we've had great inflation. I think we've had better learning and teaching, which will automatically mean that students are getting better and better grades. That's the case. Otherwise, there's no but evidence there was a that report, improving wasn't teaching. there, two years ago, mm. it suggested that not, it, they were becoming too easy. There was a report around rigour, and I have absolutely no problem with exams being made more rigorous. And the way in which you do that is to plan rigour into the course and then plan rigour into the assessment process so that you ask more probing, deeper questions that require a higher level of understanding. You don't necessarily do it by arbitrarily changing grade boundaries. And in terms of the comparable outcomes that, was, that we're talking about, uh, the regulators spoke about making sure that roughly the same number of people each year are seen to get an A grade, a B grade and a C grade. That's wrong because actually that says there is no such thing as a standard for a B grade and an A grade. It's Nick, a quota. I've asked you this question again and before and I'll ask you again tonight. Do you think the government, do you think those in the education department listen to gentlemen like Jacques enough, these guys who are on the front line? Of course they do, all the time. And you'll hear Michael Gove talk about the excellent head Doesn't teachers. Doesn't sound like it, country. Jack. What do but you But what's a serious problem of 25 years, year in, year out, of the grades, the proportion achieving those pass grades increasing. And of course, there has been uh, uh, higher standards, but not to the level of the grade inflation that we saw over those 25 years. That's what had to be dealt okay. with. Do you feel like you're being listened to, Jack? No, I don't. And I think the problem we, we now have is that nobody really knows what a C grade or a B grade is. And I th therefore think our entire examination assessment system needs a real consideration about whether it's fit for purpose and what the purpose of the system is in the first place. Okay, gentlemen, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us tonight.